Well, it wasn't the result in which we all wanted here in Philadelphia. It was one hell of a football game, that's for sure. And what we do here on the Philly Voice Sports Bet Show is Matt Cherico, Aton Shander, joined by a special guest we'll talk all about in just a second. From a betting standpoint, a lot of what we talked about ahead of time, well, that came through. So you can balance your fandom with a fatter wallet. And I know a lot of you because we talked about live betting strategy a lot of you involved in the micro betting that is just by the second now we have the opportunity to bet right down to the play right down to the second and there is no bigger leader in the world of micro betting technology than that of simple bet and this is ryan kerr the vp of trading and revenue at simple bet ryan we appreciate your time matt cherico Aton shander here on the philly voice sports bet show so thank you first and foremost second i can imagine that this was one hell of a weekend for you with the Super Bowl and the increase in just day-to-day betting, let alone the actual ability to bet on everything right down to the second. Yeah, it feels like we're uh, we're still recovering from uh, <laughs> Sunday. That was uh, about as good as it gets when you think about it coming down to the last second and, uh, yeah, last second made field goal and then even coming back on the back end and – uh, the Eagles get the ball there with six seconds and you're wondering, are they going to try and go for like a Hail Mary re- lateral or are they going to try and, you know, do a quick out to get into a really long field goal? Um, yeah. From the start to finish, it was about as good as it gets. And yeah, I think, as you mentioned on the front, uh, it, the best part about micros is the game inside of the game and sweating out every single play and every single drive. Yeah. I mean, you look across sports now, I mean, even in the MLB, you could, Big, uh, you could bet on what the next pitch is going to be, how fast it's going to be thrown. I mean, we're seeing in football, you could bet on whatever the next play is going to be, pass, run, anything like that. What do you think is the future you know, of this micro betting scenario in the grand scheme as betting is now legalized across the country? Yeah, I think you're starting to see it, and you touched on it, the granularity of the ability to to bet on these things that we all as sports fans talk about, right? Like we all sit there at a stadium and we say, I bet Aaron Judge goes deep here, or I bet Bryce is going to go yard. And at, at every point, you now have the ability to actually bet on that. And that's what makes it fun, you know, seeing – those odds update now that's an O2 count and uh, and a guy still is able to to go deep at plus 2500 um, and so yeah that sort of ability to bet in real time and you know kind of put your money on where your mouth is and also you know uh, based on some of the intuition that we all have as sports fans um, makes it really exciting and engaging from a, from a betting perspective. What do you find, and and I'm curious from a more global standpoint, Ryan, but just looking at this from the Super Bowl, what do you find as the most heavily bet micro betting option? Yeah, for for football, um, the most heavily bet is certainly on our drive result exact market. So at, at, at every point throughout the course of the drive, will the drive be a touchdown, field goal, turnover, punt? And that gets repriced, you know, from a first and 10 at their own 25 to then a second and seven at the 28 to then a big play down the field that results into a first and 10 at the opposing 17. That's getting repriced at every single point throughout the drive. And so, yeah, you have some people that are coming in and they're maybe laying big money on a third and 14 on the opposing 23 on a field goal attempt. Or you then have people that are taking, you know, a big money plus 6,000 on a punt to happen and they're hoping for a a hold or a sack to put them out of field goal range. So I think you you have a lot of different folks that are coming in at different points of the drive that make that a really compelling um, bet. And then what we really saw throughout the playoffs was some of these like player next markets really seem to take off. Um, So not just, you know, people love any time touchdown score, but we offer that on a per drive basis. And so you're getting the ability to bet Kelsey at plus 850 to score a touchdown on this specific drive. So, yeah, it never helps our side when Jalen Hurts scores the first first touchdown and then Travis Kelsey <laughs> scores the next one. It's like you're, you're, you're playing uphill from the rest of the game on that point. You guys needed a Quez Watkins one bad. Trust me, I I, I get it. Uh, Matt, real quick, I, I just wanted to follow up with Ryan. Ryan Kerr is joining us from Simple Bet, the global leader in all micro betting technology. 
this is for us. This is for the betters. It's not for the books and it's not for the big guys that you're working with. Did you find a market that was maybe surprisingly not as bet as heavy as you would think or just find a, a market that jumped out? that wasn't as heavily bet because we're always looking for an angle here, Ryan, and we're going to bet. We are going to micro bet, but maybe those lesser bet markets are a little easier to beat. Kickoff touchback. Uh, that's right. That's where you hit. Yeah. I think if, if you stay in tune with, uh, with orientation of stadiums and wind patterns and even just like kick returners, um, I think you start to see the returners, that tend to just want to take it out at all points. I think the Jags, you know, Agnew late in games, he tends to try and really make a big play for those guys. And I don't think at times our pricing is, is taking that into consideration. So, yeah, I think as you dig deep in the level of granularity, there's certainly edge to be had at any point uh, throughout the course of the game. See that, Matt? Sharp, square, micro bettings for everybody. It is. It is. I mean, you look across the board. We saw props on Rihanna and what she was going to wear. So, I mean, they, you could bet on absolutely any and everything. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Now, Ryan, I'm going to ask you, going into this baseball season, what can we expect from a micro betting standpoint that we did not see last summer? Um, one of the things that we're really excited about is we've offered a lot of these markets as singles, right? And you, you touched on it, the ability to bet on every single pitch, both will that be a ball, a strike, will it be in play, and then the over under on pitch speed for each of those. Mm -hmm. Something that we've worked really hard this off season on is what we're calling SIPs, SIPs, single inning parlays, um, wow. and the ability to say, Bryce Harper's going to hit a home run in the bottom half. Um, in the top half, Ranger Suarez is going to have two plus strikeouts <laughs> and they're going to have 12 batters come to the plate cumulatively between that entire inning. Um, and so that's going to be coming in like, as you start to narrative and you start to build out and sequence what uh, a next inning looks like, you have the ability to com combine all those for some of those kind of big lottery ticket paydays that people certainly enjoy having in their, in their portfolio. That's wow. Cool. Ryan, there are a lot of people that we deal with on a day to day. We, all three of us collectively, everybody that's doing betting content to providing the technology for the betting content and in between that are brand new, right? Hence the sign-up codes, the bonuses, new states are legalizing sports betting. With the NFL now gone, baseball just a little bit, as Matt mentioned in our, our foresight here looking ahead, what about the NBA, NHL, maybe to a lesser extent? What are you finding would be the easiest micro betting market for somebody who is brand new that maybe is just betting a side or a total ahead of time, but wants to take advantage of live betting to the point and the extent of micro betting, where would be an easy market, let's say in the NBA for somebody to jump in? Yeah, I think there's two different ways to look at it. One is on a team specific market. And so you could come in uh, at a specific game and just bet, will this next basket be a two or a three pointer? Right. That's about as simple as it gets. Uh, will this next basket within the game be a two or a three? And we offer that live for every single basket across every single NBA game. And so you have the ability to come in at any point and sit there for five minutes and bet two, three, three. Or, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, one of these lineups will put out there that's a three point shooting lineup and you can just hammer three, three, three at plus money um, pretty consistently, which is certainly a, a fun and probably a plus EV bet to have throughout the course of the game. Um, and then I think if you're more player focused, say you want to just go ahead and I want to follow Embiid over the course of the entire game. Um, you could bet on Embiid's next shot attempt. Will he make or miss his next shot for every shot that he ends up taking over the course of, of a specific sequence or for an entire game? So I think that's the way that I would probably come into it is thinking as you're watching the game, Embiid seems to be really cooking. I'd love to get in and make sure that he, uh, you know, I want to bet his, his next shot to be a make. Wow. For such a high paced game. That's just, that's incredible to think about. Yeah. It's, it's fast. Right? Um, frankly, it's, it's, to be honest, it was our 
best thing that we were able to accomplish in the last 12 months. We really struggled to provide a, a quality MBA product at this time last year. And our team spent a lot of effort over the past uh, 12 months to launch a really, really compelling and engaging product that is always open, always available for people to bet on. And then, yeah, we're working with some of our partners to build these kind of front end visualizers to allow fans to, to, to stay up to date with what's actually transpiring within the game. And I'm sure you guys touch on it a lot. Like that's one of the, the biggest issues and challenges that we face right now is just the latency parameters that are in place with somebody watching through a YouTube TV and being 30, 35 yeah. seconds behind. And so we're trying to provide as much education and information on the front end to make it, you know, a seamless, frictionless, single screen experience where people can follow along, understand what's happening within the game, and maybe not have to have specific eyes on it through a, a 30, 35 second uh, delay. I yeah, love that. To, to follow up real, real quick, and last one for me, uh, Matt, I, I just wanted to follow up on that because that's the biggest difficulty uh, around is the delay, is the tech itself of where you're watching, where you're consuming. And even if you're waiting for stoppage, right, as far as a break and play, you could be 30, 35 seconds behind that and, and markets are moving. So to be able to shrink that gap, I would imagine is game changing for anybody, e even for somebody who probably doesn't even realize that that's a hindrance. You're, you're damn right. I mean, Caesars um, did a great job in partnering with Genius for the NFL for Sunday Night Football this past year. And within their app, the last call it five or six weeks, um, they ended up having that low latency video that seemed to be like five seconds behind uh, real time. And I think you're going to start to see that become more and more a focus um, on trying to provide that low latency video, maybe embedding it within uh, a sports book to provide that that great single screen experience. So we're really excited with on the back end what Simple Bet's been able to provide from a technology provider as, you know, we can price everything in real time. Now it's about the market trying to catch up and making the best possible product for, for a user and a customer to enjoy. I love that. And one thing that really is sticking out to me, like hearing you talk about all of this, is just how user friendly you're making all of this mm -hmm. and how it's all about the better and making their experience better. So this leads me to my last question. When you're looking to make these new micro bets and these new bridges in the sports betting you know, world, what are you looking for that you think, wow, I, this is something somebody should be betting on? Um, I think we're going to work towards like contextualized bet data to try and spur like bet stimulation. Um, when you think about these games, we used the Joel Embiid example earlier on. Um, what I'd love to be able to surface in real time is Joel Embiid is anecdotally, he's cooking, and but he's, he's actually made his last five shots, is I love the ability for us on the back end to be able to provide that information to some of our sports book operators, that then they can surface that up in real time to a better that says John Beat has made his last five shots. Now, whether that trend means anything or not is debatable, but I think that sort of contextualized information sure. allows you to think about, yeah, okay, I want to bet his miss. He's going to end up missing or you no, know, he's really, he's making some shots. I'm, I want to, I want to bet the make for Joel Embiid. So I think those sort of things are, are what we're going to try and iterate on moving forward. Ryan Kerr, VP of Trading Revenue for Simple Bet, the global leader in micro betting technology. That's the entire world, folks. Ryan, how can we all support you? How can we, as sports bettors, as fans of what you're doing, how can we all continue to support what you're doing at Simple Bet? Yeah, I think just. Uh, try out the product we're live on DraftKings, um caesars better bet 365 intro lot um test out the product provide as much feedback as possible we're in the first or second inning of this whole thing and so we <laughs> understand that um the product can continue to evolve um, you know, our name is simple bet, but at times it can be fairly complicated to think about these sort of markets. And so we really are trying to provide as simplified a product as possible. So this is the way that 
I think for the most part, I grew up in New Jersey. Don't hold it against me. Um, That's where Matt sits at. And he's a Giants salute. fan. So you're probably <laughs> in similar feet here. All good. Yep. The, this is the way that us as sports fans have like been conditioned right. to watch games is like, I bet they're going to run this play. Right. And, like we're now providing you the opportunity to actually bet on it. So just, um, yeah, I think enjoy it, test it out, provide feedback. Um, and, and we're open and, and trying to iterate on the product to provide the, the best possible experience. Awesome. Ryan. Thank you, sir. We appreciate the time. You bet. Thanks for having me guys.